It's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The pros and the leagues are shaking in their boots. With all the videos out there of talented bowlers showing their stuff, there's this series, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Coming to you from Weemasset Lanes in Tewksbury, Massachusetts, it's the final week of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. We are alternating the shows between Candlepin and Tenpin, but they're all recorded together. Let's get last Candlepin game out of our mind. We only got a 59 with horrible starts and dealing with craptacular automatic scoring. We cannot show you the last score because it resets when a new game starts. We got only a 59 with a very bad start. Can we do better today? There's frame one, ball one. Let's find out. At least it's starting better than last time. Ball two. No good. Here we go again. Ball three. It stays on and we only get four. Hey, here's the C4 automatic pin setter from Candlepin from Candlepin Sales. Modeled after the Bullmore D series. Frame two, ball one. Ball two. No surprise that didn't go over. Ball three. That looks good. Ten! Regardless of where the ball was, it hit good territory first. I don't know who the comedian is that writes the jokes on these boards, but my bowling doesn't suck as bad. And speaking of, a lousy 4 in frame 1, but a nice 10 in frame 2 with the weird rebound, which was illegal. Anyway, here's ball 1 of frame 3. Too full. Spread eagle with a blown off wing. Ball 2. That's all we can do. Ball three. Not a bad recovery, an eight. Frame four, ball one. Will it stay on? Yes, it will. It's something. Ball two. Oh, too full. They've either been thrown too far off to the side or too dead on. Anyway, here's ball three. Oh, really? Seven. We did all right in spite of some really crappy thrown balls. We got an eight in frame three and a seven and two. We are now at 29. Nothing spectacular, but nothing all too bad in my standards. Anyway, here's frame five, ball one. Ball two. Um, yeah. Ball three. And 
through the hoop. Only a two. Frame six, ball one. Nice backdoor action there. Ball two. Spare! First mark of the game, or the whole stick. After a craptacular two, we finally got a spare in frame six, the only mark of the entire series here. With a 41 so far, and no, those splits are not grandma's teeth. Obviously, Brunswick doesn't know candle pin. Here's ball one, frame seven, also filling the spare. Four. Ball two. The whole back row is grandma's teeth. Oh, so close to a spare on spare. Well, not quite. The back row left behind is more traditionally known as the picket fence. And here's ball three. Ten! Frame eight, ball one. Quarter Worcester, that sucks. Ball two. It stayed on. At least we got two points. Ball three. No good. Only two. The jokes put in this scoreboard are just awful. Speaking of awful, look at that two box in frame eight. But we got a 10 and seven, so we got a 57 at this point. And now it's frame nine and ball one. There it is. Stayed on. Ball two. Ball three. Ten! Last frame, ball one. Again with the quarter Worcester. Ball two. are getting better than last. Third and final ball. No. Four, seven, only a three. We got a nice 10 box in frame nine and then stunk it up again in 10 with only a three. Yet again, another quarter Worcester frame yielding in crap. Total of 70 in all right game. Stay tuned for June's shows of Watch Me Suck at Bowling coming from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.